All right, hey everyone, welcome to Bolt Gun. This is the new Warhammer 40k game, and it looked quite fun. It is the seven millionth boomer shooter to be released in the last couple of years, so uh, I guess not too original there. But yeah, I thought it looked interesting, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, let's just jump in, medium difficulty, see how it goes. All right, here we go, and let me just do the obligatory check. Yes, indeed, I am recording there. So, first things first, looks nice. Um, as I say, there are like a million boomer shooters out at the minute, and when I see another one pop up on Steam, I am usually like, uh, not too interested, because, you know, it was kind of cool when the first few started coming out, and then, you know, after the tenth one, I was a bit like, uh, I'm not that interested. Okay, bits to collect. Uh, I would describe myself as a kind of... Hold on, have I got a weapon here? I'd describe myself as a kind of casual... Casual 40k fan. I don't know, I, li I like the artwork. Oh, I like, like that. Is that a bit of a chainsaw? Oh. Mmm. So yeah, casual I would say. I, I love looking at people's miniatures. I am painting up a little uh, Gene, Steel, Gene Steeler cult army at the minute, but I really don't know the ins and outs of the lore. Um, I've tried to get into the lore of the game a few times and I don't know what it is. There's something about it that just, my brain just switches off. You know, have you ever read something and then like halfway down the page you realise that you, you you kind of, you, your eyes are moving over it but you're just not taking it in? That's kind of what I'm like when I try and get into the 40k law. It's all like the Primaricus of the Adeptus Sororitarius has gone to the Emperor's Fifth Codecius Macarlinian. I don't know, you know, I'm just making up words there, but uh, that's what it's like to me. It's just, it's it's kind of, I don't know, there's something about the the language they used. It, it just makes my brain switch off, and I think that is a me problem rather than a 40k problem. You know, I, I, I do like the fact that they've created this rich world and this rich lore behind the game, but... Yeah, there's just, I, I have a real problem with names in general in the real life and I find that the 40k law has a lot of random strange names that I find hard to keep track of and whenever I've tried getting into it, it's, I've just found that yeah, it's, it's just has, it has this habit of making my brain switch off and stop concentrating. So yeah, I'm just wandering around here. I don't know if I've got different weapons. Chainsaw, no. Ooh. What's up here then? Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm really not a, a sort of first-person shooter kind of guy. Oh God, I was trying to get up there. Thought maybe this would be something cool. Surely they put something cool at the top of this. Well, that's disappointing. If I'd made this game, I would have put something cool up there. Just a reward. Yes, what am I looking at here? What do you want? What are you trying to show me? I guess this is just like the tutorial stage. Mmm. Oh, look at the heads. I do like the violence. I've seen a little tooltip come up. Oh, V. What's V do? Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this... style of game yeah it's not exactly the, uh, the kind of game I play I'm much more of a sedate chill out gameplay kind of guy rapid charge shift oh 
Oh, I'm, I'm meant to press the button, I see. Okay, I get it. I get you. Oh, come on. There we go. So, have I got a different weapon there? I feel like I picked something up. Maybe that was just a key. Bum, bum, bum. I love their footsteps. The stomping, like... Metal armour stomping. There we go. Is this a... Holy Relic Bolter? Hmm. With plenty of ammo. It's a bit... Floaty. I didn't expect a space marine to be this floaty. I assume it's a space marine I'm playing. I, oh, for God's sake, I nearly fell then. Am I supposed to be going down there? Uh, I feel like that might not be the right way to go. Well, let's do it. Oh! Yeah, I did not grow up playing um, like PC shooters and things. Um, I played quite a bit of Risk of Rain, Risk of Rain 2, which is a third person shooter. But um, yeah, I was really a console gamer growing up and didn't play too many first person shooters apart from things like um, time splitters so I know some people grow up on these and when you, when you watch them play and you can just tell that they're like amazing at it going for headshots constantly and I'm just like uh, uh. Ah, I love the I love the gore, the viscera, the body's just exploding. This is what you this is the sort of thing you want. Like this is what I imagine when I see the world of 40k and people shooting each other. Just absolutely brutal. Ugh. Oh that didn't go well for you, did it? I got that thing. Two hundred plus contempt. Well, that's nice. Bum, 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 bum. What do you want? All right, there we go. That was the end of the level. I'm glad there wasn't too much sort of back and forth in the stage. I know it was just a, a tutorial stage, really, so... Uh, no, it wasn't too difficult, but something that always put me off playing Doom too much was getting lost and like the corridors always kind of ended up looking the same and I would always get a bit like a bit frustrated trying to find my way around. What's that glowing red for? Bum bum! Absolutely wrecked. Look at the world. It looks nice, doesn't it? It looks like something... Yeah, another thing I love looking at in um, like 40k, the 40k universe is like the scenery that people make. I love all of that, like scratch building scenery, and it kind of, it does look like something someone would make. Like the random bits of pipe and stuff. Don't know if I needed that. That noise. I keep hearing like a it's almost like a dog barking. Pop right in the skull. Oh Oh. 
someone hiding there, look. Hey. Can you please not shoot me? If you don't mind, would you just not? I would like that. How do I frag grenade? Hold on. Oh, that's charge. I didn't know I had frag grenades. Q. I don't. Why didn't I? I thought I pressed Q. Okay, that just explodes instantly. I see. Very nice. Oh, look at that big sort of whatever that is over there. I'm sure I'm supposed to know what that is. But as I say, filthy casual fan here, 40k. If you um, if you want to see the models I've painted, I put them up on Instagram sometimes and Twitter. Very rarely. Uh, it takes me absolutely ages to paint a model. I'm so slow at painting them. But uh, I really do love, like, there's times in my life where I've been going through, like, really stressful times and just being able to kick back and... Oh! Ah! Oh, it's lovely. I love the, I love the chainsaw thing to the face. Yeah, just being able to kick back, pains, it just sort of seems to take away all your, like, all your worries. I don't know what it is, just something really relaxing about being able to sit back and paint some miniatures and the amount of detail and effort you have to put into them. So, yeah, it takes me absolutely months to paint, like, a squad of figures. But I am enjoying it, and I've got the Gene Steeler Cults Rock Grinder to paint next, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm going for, like, my my army that I'm building, my little story that I've written for them, is that, you know, like, my little theme for them is that they're a mining, they're like prisoners on a mining, like, you know, a prison mining colony. So I've done their armour... Like the cloth bits of their armor are done in like orange colors to look like a prison uniform so that's my idea and then all of their um all of their bloody hell what am i trying to say their vehicles and things like the rock grinder i'm going to paint i've already painted a, a, a sentinel my idea is all the vehicles are part of this mining equipment. So I've done them up as if they're like in a, like a yellow, as if you know, like a JCB or something, like a like like a bit of a bit of. Uh... Oh, that's a big guyney! Hmm. Yeah. So you know, like it's a. Like it's a piece of construction machinery. So the Sentinel, which is usually done in like an, a, a drab army green colour, is bright yellow, but gr all like dirtied up. So it it looks like it's it could be on used as a on a work site on a mine of some sort. That's the that's the idea I'm going for. I don't know whether I've, I've done it very well, but uh, you know I had an idea that the Sentinel has got the chainsaw on the front and and a mining laser. Ooh, 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 did you get shot there? Bam. Yeah, I like the way it sort of makes you feel quite powerful. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing very well there. I think I, I think my health is probably not too good. Oh. What are these Chaos Marines? These guys? Yeah. Should have probably used a frag grenade there to be honest.
bam i just i don't know there's something extremely satisfying about the way the bodies explode into into gore when you shoot them mm. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Bolts into your body. Uh. Yeah. So yeah, I've, I've, I haven't really played that many of the, the modern boomer shooter games that have come out. Like I, I think I said at the beginning, I, I, I kind of like the idea of them, and I, I might have played one or two. But as I say, as more and more starts to come out, it's kind of like the there's a trend for PS1 styled. Um, sort of like horror games and they seem cool at the beginning but then it was like you know the more that came out it's it's kind of like how do you pick the good ones from the bad it's it's hard to pick because there's so many of them uh, uh, bad guys kill them all kill the guys Oh, they're throwing grenades now, are they? That's not allowed, surely. Surely only I can have grenades. Yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I've got some kind of power fist there for fisting. I don't know. I don't know what I give me. It's, it's made everything sound muffled. Hello. Hello, you. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I like it. So, it, the, the, yeah, there's something really, like, chunky feeling. That's the only way I can describe it. The, the thudding of the, the bolts into their bodies and the explosions. There's a secret discovered. All right, good. Which way did I come? I, I'm... I'm I, 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 getting a bit lost here. Am I meant to be going up there, maybe? I don't think I can jump up there. Maybe if I go around behind this. Come on. Come on. Oh, no! Okay. That wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be. A little death. A little death is fine. Here's ammo that I haven't got, and people that I haven't killed. Uh. I have seen on the trailers that you get to fight the death, the death guard in here. And all the little nurglings and things. I really want, an, at some point in the future, to paint um, a Death Guard army. I, th I think they're called Death Guard. The ones that are like corrupted with Nurgle's rot and they're all kind of diseased looking. Yeah, I, I do like that army as a concept and I wouldn't mind painting them. I think that's how I could like learn the lore better. Because I feel like I've learned a little bit about the Gene Stealers just from painting them up and 
I bought the codex and read through that. I was, you know, I, I, I was able to concentrate on it a bit more because it was, you know, I was painting them up. So I think I'll paint up a Death Guard and then I'll, I'll learn a bit more about them then. I feel like I've been here. No. Where does it want me to go? It must want me to go somewhere. I mean, there's people over there that I haven't killed, but I feel like... Have I not already done this? Uh, it's just another section. I like these bits. They kind of remind me of uh, Necromunda terrain. When I was a kid, one of my uncle, or someone bought me the Necromunda starter kit with the little cardboard terrain pieces, and these this is what these sections remind me of. Bom, bom, bom. It's that noise of the bullets. Love it. Love it. How do I get over there, though? I've got to probably clamber up on this gun somehow. Hmm. Some guys come back around here. I see you. <clears throat> Can't catch me sleeping. No, I don't know. How do I get up there? That's what I'm wondering. Oof, don't fall off. I don't know if it I don't know if it penalizes you for dying in this game. Ah, there we go. Oof. Who's shooting at me though? You Oh no, don't Come on, come on, Space Marine. Come on, whatever I'm playing, guys. What am I playing as? A Stormtrooper? I think that's 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 part of the lore, isn't it? Stormtroopers in this game. Oh, I can't work it out. I'm sure there's a way. There must be... It's annoying me now, because I want to do that. Hmm. Klingons are in this in this game, aren't they? Yeah. That's something. That's something. Yeah, I know. I know my. I know my. Uh, Warhammer law. Grab on! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Ooh, that give me a, give me a bit of an adrenaline rush. That did. I don't like I don't like heights. So this a bit too much verticality here. That didn't give me. I must be full of whatever. I, whatever that gives me, I must be full. Yeah. Oh well, this would be a good place for a secret, but no, I guess not. Hmm. Quite athletic, aren't they? Surprisingly athletic. Oh, here we go. Look, what's this thing? Some kind of demon monster from hell. Sent back to hell. I saw something there. What was that? Hmm, I don't know if those are collectibles or just things that kill me. Dead. Hello there. 
Can I shoot you? Do you mind? Oh, look. Another good place for a secret. It's over here, I wonder. Oh, out of bounds. Out of bounds. No. Oh, that would have been cool. Stomp, 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 stomp. Yeah, it's something about the the feel of the game, the weightiness of it, the as I say, the the bullets chunking into people, and the the weight of your feet and I'm not sure what that V does. I feel like it's always going that chainsaw thing. So. I don't know what I was doing there. That was a bit scrappy. Panic. I'm panic shooting there. I don't think I'm doing that chainsaw thing correctly. I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. It says press V to charge it up, but I feel like it, it doesn't really do anything when I press that button. So I think I might be misunderstanding that slightly. Alright, these guys are down there, are they? Oh, are they? Down there, are you? Is this where you are? Straight through them. What's that doing? That looks like a place that has a secret to it. Let's go all the way over here. Oh. Yeah, up here, look, look at this. Come on, let me in. Give me the secrets. Give me the secrets I know you have. Okay, fine. Let's go and let's go and get them. Let's go. Let's get moving. Not sure which way I came in. Uh, seek alternative entrance. Hmm. Well, I think I was on the right track over here. Surely. Here we go. Here we go. Kajunk. Whoa, that was uh, that was great fun. 98% of people killed. Three of six secrets. I tried my best to find other secrets. Uh, there wasn't any in all the places I thought there would be. Um, yeah, so that was me very badly playing uh, Bolt Gun, but it was a lot of fun, and I will be playing this more in my own time. Um, the feeling of it, the weight, the weight of the character and the feeling of the guns ch chopping people to pieces really really satisfying i think it's one of them games that you probably play it you'll get a better feel for it when you actually play it rather than watching a gameplay video i hope uh, i didn't annoy too many people with my terrible 40k knowledge but as i say i'm i'm 
I'm a casual touristy type of player. I come in, I paint the models. I like looking at models and painting them and that's about as involved as I get. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time, everyone.